Like most people these days, I've been trying to follow COVID-19 precautions and using social distancing and washing my hands all of the time. But because I'm considered an essential worker as a journalist, I couldn't follow stay-at-home orders and sheltering in because I needed to continue working and covering the news. But then I noticed I started to have some mild symptoms, and I became concerned that I might unknowingly infect other people while I was out. So I decided I needed to get tested. Holding a biohazard bag with something from your own body is a terrifying experience, but this is what it takes in order to find out if you have a deadly virus. Leading up to this point, I had been working on stories for the first few weeks after COVID-19 cases began showing up in Los Angeles and I felt fine. But then I developed a cough and began to have headaches, shortness of breath, fatigue, and some chest pain. We're doing okay right now, 97.7. I was told by my medical group that I would need to do a telemedicine call to determine if my symptoms were serious enough for a COVID test. But I already knew that I had a lot of the symptoms and even though they were mild, I needed to get tested to know for sure that I wasn't going to infect other people while out working. The last few days have been really scary and I've had some genuine concerns. You know, some tearful phone calls to my parents and my sister on the East Coast. She's just recovering from cancer, so I've been worried about her and a lot of days of struggling to figure this out, but ultimately it was about having peace of mind. Finally, I went on to the LA City website where they have a special page for COVID-19 testing and I filled out the questionnaire. I do have some underlying chronic health conditions and all of those can make me more susceptible to other diseases. I submitted my questionnaire and waited. I got an email from the city of Los Angeles confirming that I have a COVID-19 drive-up test appointment. This is probably the most important doctor's visit I've ever gone to because it's not just for me. I felt a bit shaky driving to the testing site because I was fatigued and had not slept well in days. It's still so strange to be on an LA freeway and barely see any traffic, but at least that means people are staying at home. So that's a good thing. I pulled into the Hanson Dam Recreation Center on Lakeview Terrace, which is the city's valley location. Police directed traffic and cones showed you the path to the triage area. There were three stations set up. The first one, you check in. The second tent, you get the kit. Thank you for being out here. We appreciate you, uh, your service. Thank you very much. Okay. Take care of yourself. All right. And the third one, you do the test. Swab the inside of your mouth, put that into a vial, and then put the vial into three separate bags. The whole process took less than 10 minutes. All right, that was it, process over. It is definitely an organized system. And I'm glad it's over. Now the wait begins. The wait will be nerve wracking, but when I get the final results, at least I will know what I need to do in order to keep others safe.